Hey, what's up? I'm here. Uh, welcome to uh, Zombies Block Tutorial. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible, not really on the hard coding side, but more using programs that make your life easier when making a Minecraft Bedrock um, add-on. So let's get started. On my um, Discord, at Zombies Add-on Class on Add-on Programs, I kind of made it easier for you. I got all the the three programs that we use in here, there's actually one more I would recommend. Let me stick that in here. If you don't have Photoshop, this is actually a free paint program. So you can do like the basics, resize all of your textures and everything. So we got the paint.net. Oh, I actually did have it here. I just completely missed it. Boom. We got the paint.net. That would be like your uh, Photoshop editor that's... It's nowhere near as good as Photoshop, but it does the basics. Visual uh, Studio Code. It's one of the best code editors out of there, in my opinion. I use it all the time. <clears throat> this you'll be mainly using for a manifest. Blockbench. Blockbench we're going to use to mainly start your add-on pack and to get a really good block template. Bridge. This is where you're going to do 90% of your Minecraft add-on code in app. Because instead of, well, I'll give you an example. Let me open it up here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so instead of, let me go to the actual review and file, explore. There we go. Okay, so instead of seeing this right here, all you do is you see this. As you can see, this is kind of much easier to read to the basic user. Um, so yeah, it's just more visual. It makes it easier and it actually gives you predictions too, which we'll get this set up here in a minute. Actually, that's going to be, yeah, let's do a uh, program setup. So after you get um, these programs installed, the first thing I recommend doing is open your bridge. There's a few things you're going to want to change in here. Step one, go to preferences and settings. In your settings, always put on bridge predictions. This makes your life so much easier. Instead of having three uh, buttons down here, it puts it all into two, and it just it's so much smoother. The rest of these settings are basically personal preference. Like me, I like it on dark mode. I'm not a fan of the brightness. Pretty much everything I use is on dark mode. So, But again, that's all personal preference, so you can just sort through here and make this perfect for you but after you got that predictions it's going to ask you to restart the program uh, we can just completely close it out because well we're not going to use it right now so once you got that set up now it's time to you install your block bench so let's get your block template made what I mean by a block template is you are literally going to use this template for everything you're going to be duplicating this to make more blocks now, there's two different blocks. There's geo blocks, which we'll get into later down in the course. Right now, this we're just going to focus on non geo blocks, but we're going to make a geo block just for the template. And again, you will understand this here in a minute. So, once we open this, let's get um, Block Bench set up. What you're going to want to do is go to File, Plugins. This is going to make your life so much easier. First thing you're going to do is install these plugins um, this one right here minecraft entity wizard if you plan on doing add-ons and getting really involved into it you're eventually going to want this this introduces you how to make add-on or how to make um, mobs it's a really easy program to use this one right here is really handy minecraft item wizard it kind of um, it just makes making custom items like a breeze so I definitely recommend down in this one, this one. This is the one we're going to use today, Minecraft Block Wizard. Uh, definitely download this. These two will definitely help out later down the line, so you might as well download them now. Shape Generator and Seat Position and Hitbox. This is not just amazing just for entities. This is amazing for uh, blocks too. Because if you're making blocks like slabs with a custom collision, it will actually tell you what numbers you need to type. It will do the math for you, which 
when we get to that stage, you will understand. And it is amazing. Another cool one, color gradient. I use this one a lot making custom blocks, so just cool to have. All right, once you got all those plugins um, installed, <clears throat> then let's get started. So then you're going to have this screen right here. You're going to have these loaders. And since we are going to be focusing on blocks, we're going to do block wizard. We are going to create a block. Now here, this is going to be our um, template block. So what we are going to do is we're going to name it. Let's see. There we go. Um, we'll name it template. I had to look it up. I'm horrible at spelling. Now this is going to ask for your identifier. I always use zombie personally. Um, but you can literally make that anything. Make sure it's something simple, easy to write, and you want all this in lower cases. No capital letters in this bar. Minecraft hates capital letters. You do not want capital letters here. So once you have your identifier, um, to give like an example, it can be Bob, it can be your name, your nickname, whatever, doesn't matter. This is just your identifier that you coded this. So, and the um, identity of the item itself, like if we're doing like a dot give command, we'd be doing dot give, you know, at P or whatever, um, zombie template to get this block. This right here tells it what category to put it um, in creative. Hidden, I mean, it just makes it not show up on the uh, creative table at all. But we're going to do construction. This is option. You can place them in any of these two. Um, for the majority of custom blocks, you just want none. But for template purposes, just pick one. I mean, we can start with planks. That way you know exactly what that is. I've actually done this plenty of times doing um, just so I got all of them. But I can, you can also look them up so you don't have to do that too. But we'll just do that. Now, this is just presets for block bench. Um, this, all it is, is just giving you the already built block. So we'll hit next. Rotation. <clears throat> Let's see. I have templates also on this, but this makes your block rotatable. So let's just start with, might as well as have one on our template. We don't have, we can always remove this later on. So, yeah, like that. We'll get into this later, more down the road. This is more advanced block coding, but it's useful to have on our block uh, template. We are doing a full block. Um, yes. You can make a block with no collision. I didn't even think of it. Wow, that's dope. Anyways, learn something all the time. Now, collision, we'll do, you know, same as that. Selection blocks. What this is, too, that's the outline of your block. Like when you look at it, it highlights an outline of it. That's what that is. Um, not selectable. I did not. Hmm. I'm going to make it not selectable just so I know how to code that. Now, destroy time. This is how many um, seconds it takes to break your block. Traditionally, I just keep it at one. But if you want like a, gla like a block of glass, you know, you're going to want it. A little bit you know weaker than that or if you want a city and you want a little bit stronger than that um for our template definitely put a explosion just so we have the number on there doesn't matter where because we can change these values same with friction you just want some kind of number on there you want to click flammable so you have that on there doesn't matter we can change these later on so you can just have any numbers you want there so yeah, now we are just going to hit next. And then now, loot, we can always do this later. So this we don't really need. Just hit next. Export. So now what we're going to do is export to folder. This is going to create our pack. So pack name. Zombies class. Actually... Yeah, you want to name this. Yeah, so basically name this right here, the name of your pack. Um, then just put you know your name, whatever you want there. That's just the author. 
you can put a pack icon now or we could always do that later um if you do one now you just have to have a png so hit next um, okay oh that's right it just exported my pack okay so now our pack is made now we can hit next so let's go into a little bit of designing for our basic block we are just going to keep it separate but um later down the road we will do multi-side color blocks so there you, know, you can actually resize the um, sides there are six of them i'm just going to do something really quick so boom all i'm doing is literally just resizing these squares so then now we can actually go into that has a full paint studio here and what's cool is so we can select a color boom and we'll do some blue boom, boom. we'll make a multi-color block oh no we messed up how do we do that we click right here you see how that quarter just resize it and boom since we are doing just base colors it honestly really doesn't matter how big the square is um, but the smaller the square is the um, the smaller the pixels like the bigger the pixels will be on here and then this is the texture size we'll actually customize this later on but you can resize it to 64 64 on blocks you definitely want this to be the same exact as this unless it will do weird stuff the highest you can make your texture I believe is 128 by 128 that's high definition um, but yeah you might even be able to do higher than that I haven't really tested too much so don't quote me on that but we'll go back to paint we'll do some more colors and boom get some yellow get some purple there we go we've got a cool color so then we will save this and then yeah let's go make our block we'll actually make two blocks with this texture we can actually legit make one we can make six seven different blocks just with this one texture I know crazy but we'll get into that here soon so now we have our template made we are done with bridge so we can just discard all, we close it all out, we save the texture, the geo's made, your pack is made, everything is done there. So let's take a look at bridge. Okay, so where's my zombie class? I might have to refresh this. No, I just opened it. Um, it's probably right in front of me. Wait, it would be a bridge symbol. There it is. I was looking right at it. So right here is the block that we just made in bridge. Bridge um, with uh, pack add-ons you have your behavior side and then you have your resource side the behavior side is on downloaded in the world file the resource side is downloaded on the players uh, PC or Android device or you know, whatever device you play on it's on there so what we're gonna do is look at our block template and we're gonna open all this up let's talk about this So to go into uh, death, this block is actually online working right now. It's going to be a look at a little bit weird though, because if we go into Minecraft, um, there we go. Let's create our test world. This video is going a little bit longer than I wanted to, but there's a lot of information here. That is great. We'll make a part two video here soon 
that will go more in depth into making more blocks, how we uh, use our template. Uh, test world. Typically for test world, especially with blocks, we don't really need to test out mobs. Always day, cheats on. This is just my recommendations for a test world, weather off. And we'll make it a flat world. And then boom, test world, block pack. That way we can look at the world, we know exactly what it is. We'll hit create. Oh, I forgot to add the pack. No worries. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions too, feel free to uh, DM me or comment. This will be on YouTube, so definitely comment and like, share with your friends, or you can you know hit me up on Discord. Um, yeah. So let's get to this. What we're gonna do is add our developmental pack on here. So we're gonna hit this right here. Then we will go boom resource pack right here zombies class activate okay there we go boom so now it automatically adds the resource side too because of the manifest which we'll go into manifest later down or just getting your um you know your feet wet here all right so let's take a look at our block Another thing I recommend doing, especially if you're going to be doing this a lot, go into your settings. Go into creator. Enable all of these. If your add-on pack has errors, it will actually display them in here. So you can easily go into bridge and fix them. So, what is our test block called? Let's put ourselves in creative. Probably just assembly. That's it right here. Duh. So literally, you just type in your identifier. And why is it not there? So there it is. See, it looks really weird right now. We are going to fix that in the next video. And then, where is it? Is it not showing up in our, oh wait, we put it in menu category, construction planks, that's why. I'm so used to just be right here. If we look in the planks, it should be there. Boom, right there it is. Kind of looks a cool block, other than <laughs> the stone behind it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we made it so you can't even select it. <laughs> That's funny. We can't break it. It's an unbreakable block, even in creative mode. That's kind of useful. Anyway, so on video two, we'll get into the... Um, actual block editing like changing stats and maybe even making a new block so yeah, i'm going to end this video here